Welcome back, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are looking at fractions, decimals, and percents. We've already looked at converting back and forth between fractions and decimals, now it's time to add percents into the mix. Percents are just ratios out of a hundred. Per cent. Uh, it's, it's a ratio or a fraction out of a hundred. So when you see 87%, that means the same thing as 87 out of 100. 50%. 50 out of 100. Okay? Anything with a percent sign on it means it's out of 100. Okay? That's going to help us as we uh, convert things. Let's start by converting decimals into percents. It's real easy. You just move the decimal two places to the right. Now the reason that happens um, the reason we move it two places to the right is because what we're doing is we're act actually multiplying by a hundred. When you multiply something by a hundred, you know, in third grade you learned, oh, you know, if you do four times a hundred, well, it's times a hundred, so you just add two zeros onto it. Well, what's really happening when you're adding those zeros is that decimal point on the four is moving over twice and you have to go put two zeros back in there. Alright, so that's what's going on here. When we have 0 0.91 or 91 hundredths and we want to make it a percent, we're multiplying by a hundred and that gives us 91 percent. We move the decimal over here to the right. Okay, same thing here, 0 0.035 to make the percent a decimal, we multiply by 100. That moves the decimal point two places to the right, and we have 3.5%, 3.5%. Decimal to percent is pretty easy, and percent to decimal two places to the left. If decimal to percent was two places right, then going backwards is two places to the left. What we're doing here is we're actually dividing by a hundred, sending the decimal the other way. 75 percent is 0 0.75. 75 hundredths, 75 out of a hundred. 143 percent gives us 1.43. So percent to decimal, decimal to percent, pretty straightforward. You're just moving the decimal either left or right. Fraction to percent is a little, uh, a little more involved. First question you should ask yourself is can you make an equivalent fraction out of a hundred? Remember percents are out of a hundred. So if we look at eight tenths can we make it something that has a denominator of a hundred? Sure we can, because ten goes nice and pretty into a hundred. Ten times, right? Ten times ten is a hundred, so eight times ten is eighty. Now that it's out of a hundred, we can say it's a percent. Eighty out of a hundred is eighty percent. Now this next example uh, the two-sevenths, seven does not go nice and pretty into a hundred. So that's where we go up here to our second step. No, we can't make an equivalent fraction out of a hundred. So we're going to make the fraction a decimal. And if you remember, to do that we divide. Two divided by seven. And let's see, seven goes into twenty twice, and we get fourteen. And 67 goes into 68 times for 56. Oh, run out of run out of ink here. Run out of room. Another placeholder, longer line. Uh, seven goes into 45 times for 35. Um, but you know what? I don't want to go any further. I have a feeling that seven. Dividing by 7 is going to give me a really ugly decimal. I actually am okay if we round everything to the nearest percent. 
So if we take this 0.285, take this decimal, and to make it a percent, we move it right twice. That would give us 28.5%, but we're going to round it to the nearest percent. That's going to round up to 29%. That's what I do with your grades. If you get 28.5%, round it up to 29%. All right, so that's fractions to percents. Can you make an equivalent fraction out of 100? If not, do the division and move that decimal point two places to the right and let's let's make another little note up here nearest well, I've got a lot of ink on this screen it's gonna mess up my writing nearest per cent come on that's the nearest percent there we go alright then going the other way going from a percent to a fraction well, we already did this a little bit at the beginning of the video. A percent is a fraction out of 100. So let's just put it out of 100. 12 is equal to 12. I'm sorry, 12 percent is equal to 12 out of 100. Well, we have to reduce. Must reduce to simplest form. Lowest terms. Biggest number that goes into 12 and 100 is 4. So that gives us 3 oops that's not right three twenty-fifths and seventy-nine percent again it's a percent which means it's out of a hundred and I don't think there's anything that goes into seventy-nine and a hundred except for one I believe seventy-nine is a prime number so we're all done I think that's the last screen Okay, yeah, fractions, decimals, percents, it's very important that we are able to communicate, uh, to convert between all three forms. Okay, three different ways of writing the same value, we got to know how to do it. If you have questions about anything from the video, write them down, and be ready to talk about them in class. See you soon.